I don't know why, but I'm kind of dying to try this stuff. I'm probably gonna probably gonna give it a go. So I thought that I would document this uh, for a couple of reasons. One, just to let the people know that I've been telling, hey, I'm gonna be making this biochar, um, kind of what I'm doing here, and then two. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work at all. Uh, it's something that I kind of did a little research on, and I thought, well, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe I can do that. Well, I guess we're going to find out. But uh, um, I'm excited about this project because the only thing that it's cost me is time. 100% um, of everything that I'm using is no cost to me, um, including both barrels, including the flu that uh, I just happen to be noticing alongside the road and I asked a guy about it and uh, he said yeah it's yours if you want it it's just going to go into a landfill so um, I brought it home and I'm incorporating it into my uh, retort system here and then I located and procured uh, feed stock to put into this so again these are cut ends from a mill that is you know just allowing people to come and, and grab this otherwise it would be you know, either burned or disposed of. And I, I really do like the idea of taking something that's going to be, um, you know, discarded and then putting it to good use. So I'm hoping that's what I'm doing here um, in this process. But again, it's it's all new to me. So uh, I'm going to bring you along and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've been able to run several batches through the system now. Um, I think I've got it kind of refined pretty well and it's uh, given me some some good char. So uh, let me kind of explain the process of how you make good char, first of all. Um, in order to uh, really make good clean char, you need to do so through the process of pyrolysis, and that's basically heating it up to its ignition temperature, pushing off all of the gases, um, essentially burning it without oxygen. There's the 30 gallon filled with feedstock inside the 55 gallon drum. The lid will be placed on that and sealed, and then all of this space going around will be filled with feedstock all the way up to the top. The fire will be lit, will go down, it'll heat up the material inside the 30 gallon. The gases will start to expand, they will off gas, come out along the side, they will come up to a point at which the fire is burning down, and then they will again reburn. So I'll go ahead and uh, fire this thing up and make another batch but uh yeah so far everything's working good i've been really pleased with it it's been a few hours since uh since i lit it it's pretty well cooled down by now at least externally so let's open her up and see what wound up doing. Alright. Moment of truth. Ooh. That sounds deliciously metallic. Well, one of the ways you can tell that you've got good quality char is that there's there's absolutely no ash. It's completely black, and it has a very distinct, almost glassy-like sound to it. It's very metallic. And uh, one of the other ways you can you can tell is that it has no smell and it has no taste. And uh, I don't know why, but I'm kind of dying to try this stuff. I'm probably gonna probably gonna give it a go. So
biochar with uh, some of the other methods, um, cone pit, and just doing some things with, uh, you know, pulling coals out of the burn pile and trying to quench them. Uh, but the nice thing about this system uh, is it's pretty self-regulating. Basically, you can just light this, come back sometime later in the day, um, and uh, it basically it's self-extinguishing. So from that aspect, it's very kind of hands-off, and I really like it so far. Uh, I'm going to continue to make this stuff and incorporate it into uh, some of the projects that I've got going on around here. So This is the first step in taking and turning this charcoal into biochar. We kind of put it out where the livestock can step on it and then as we sweep up their manure and uh, wasted feedstuffs into piles, um, that'll be incorporated into um, our composting systems.